although there are many advantages to asexual reproduction and many disadvantages to sexual reproduction for both males and females. There is one advantage to sexual reproduction uh, which uh, trumps these and is the reason that sexual reproduction is so common in organisms alive today. It is that sexual reproduction produces an incredible variety in the offspring. For example, a pair of humans have the ability uh, genetically to produce more genetically different offspring than there have ever been human offspring. So uh, sexual reproduction provides an incredible uh, capacity for diversity in the offspring. As a result, when there are changes in the environment, it gets colder, it gets drier, it gets wetter, it gets warmer. When there are new parasites in the area, new diseases, when there are new competitors, an asexual reproduction, an asexually reproducing population uh, has a disadvantage. They are all identical. Anything which will affect one of them negatively will affect all of them negatively. In contrast, in sexually reproducing organisms, populations are quite diverse and there are uh, adaptations which can arise in some individuals which allow them to survive this new environmental change. So while asexual reproduction may have advantages in the short term, sexual reproduction has such a strong advantage for long-term survival in producing diverse uh, offspring that sexual reproduction is common in eukaryotes today. However, it should be remembered that um, sexual reproduction evolved only once in ancestral eukaryotes, which evolved the foundations of uh, meiosis and um, the cellular mechanisms of sexual reproduction, and has simply then been inherited in diverse eukaryotes over the past two billion years.